Penn and Amy Lee, congratulations to the two of you on you season four. I've been a longtime fan of the series. Penn, I've chatted with you and Victoria briefly for season three, which was so much fun. And Amy Lee, nice to meet you. I love the addition of Nadia this season. Hi, nice to meet you. Thank you very much. Yeah, yeah. Penn, when I chatted with you last time, I forgot to mention that um, I, this airs in Baltimore, and I know that you were born in Baltimore. I have no idea how long you lived there or if you have any memories of Baltimore, but I kind of wanted to start on that. <laughs> the only thing is the aquarium. I was two years old when we moved out. My The rest of my family, you know, they know it well, but I'm, yeah, I didn't, I didn't really live there. Sorry. I'm yeah, moving. no, but the aquarium is the aquarium is still iconic though in the Inner Harbor. All right, yeah, cool. No, I mean, it, yeah, it's out of my memory. <laughs> <laughs> well, Penn, I love that you've been keeping all of us entertained on Instagram and TikTok with your dances. I especially love the Taylor Swift one. And we do actually get to hear a little bit of Taylor Swift in you uh, season four. And I'm curious for you, I know that Joe wouldn't have a TikTok, but what would be on Joe's TikTok feed? What types of videos would he like to enjoy watching? <laughs> That's a good question. I, you know, in ter I don't spend a, as much as I've done this thing. I don't spend a lot of time on TikTok. The scrolling aspect of it to me, I'm like, this is, this is, this is crazy. I, 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 do, I so I really just make them. But I guess he'd probably be into. I don't know. I feel like he would be into watching the kids dance. You know, not like celebrities and doing their thing. But I feel like the way that these dances come up from like just kids in their neighborhoods like that, I, I think the best part of Joe that like loves Nadia, you know, and like likes good people for a time being, um, I think he would be into that, the authenticity of it. I think so, too. Amy Lee, like I said, I was a huge fan of you. I'm curious for you before you joined the cast, if you were actually a fan of the series and if you watched prior to be getting cast. Yeah, no, I, I did. I watched it. Um, I'd seen all through. I'd seen the third one like quite recently, like a few weeks before I actually auditioned. Um, yeah. So, yeah, no, I love the series before. Um, what did you and Penn do in between takes to have fun on set? Um, Penn likes to do these like weird little voices and impressions, which, you know, <laughs> which used to really make me laugh, like a lot of British accents as well. Um, and yeah, that, that, cause you have to keep the mood alight. You have to, because, you know, a lot of the time it's, it's a lot, it can be quite heavy stuff. And, um, but yeah, <laughs> Penn used to do that quite a lot, actually. <laughs> can we yeah. hear one of the voices? <laughs> like this. That one. It? <laughs> Please have you. It's always a British accent. He was just getting. He was just feeling, feeling his surroundings. Oh, yeah. he's fully getting into the mood. So I managed to go the first like five or six weeks in London without doing it once. I didn't, you know, and I was like, I didn't feel, I didn't feel somehow <laughs> the thing that Americans seem to which is to do a British accent when they're surrounded by Brits. But then after five or six weeks, it was like the, the dam broke. And, um, and, and then Charlotte, I think in particular, really hated it. Like Amy probably laughed and tolerated it. But I Charlotte actually found it funny though. Like I can't fake love. It's, I think Charlotte it's because I didn't expect it to come out of your mouth, you know? <laughs> exactly. And Charlotte legitimately, every time I would do it, she'd be like, no, 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 no. <laughs> So, um, yeah, that was, that's not all I did. I think we talk, we talk a lot, you know, we talk and laugh. I think I tend to keep it pretty light, you know? I love that. I love that. Well, last question for you, Penn. I love your podcast, Pod Crush, and I particularly loved the interview and chat you did with Chase Crawford. Are we going to see a U season four cast member pop up on the podcast? And what cast member from this season would be the best podcast host? Co-host. Uh, Amy, I got it. <laughs> well done. What a brilliant answer. <laughs> well done. Um, That's how she I'm, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm just going through and sort of, you know, I don't want it to be too much of people from my own world, but then at the same time, I gotta, I gotta get people who will say yes. So sometimes I have to, you know. <laughs> I love that. Well, Amy, you're going to be on Pod Crush and I'm going to be listening to it. So here you go, right here. <laughs> Brilliant.
Thank you, Penn and Amy, so much. And again, congratulations. I cannot wait for fans to see this new season because it's so wicked. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you both. Bye. Lucas and Tilly, congratulations to the both of you on this new season of You. I watched all of the episodes, absolutely loved it. And I think that Adam and Lady Phoebe, they were just cracking me up the entire time. So congratulations to the two of you, first of all. Thank you. Oh, thank it's you so great. much. Yeah, I love it when Lady Phoebe calls Joe a little sweet bearded baby angel. I love the way that you <laughs> delivered the lines. It was so funny. Um, and I love that the character Kate says that Phoebe sees the best in people. And that can kind of be her best quality, but kind of her worst quality as well. But what did you love about playing Phoebe? And what's something that you kind of took away from this as an actor, Tilly? Well, I, I love how unintentionally funny she is. Like she is kind of the light to everyone's darkness. And it's sometimes like she chooses an inappropriate moment to drop a clanger or, you know, say something that's, you know, sweetly dim. Um, so I really enjoyed that. I think just I, I, I learned how to walk in very high heels. I don't actually think I learned how to walk very well in, in high heels. But um, yeah, that's like my main takeaway from playing this part. But I just, yeah, I think getting to lean into like the light comedy amongst all this kind of bleak storyline was really fun for me. I love that. Lucas, I know that this season is obviously super dark, just like all the, of the seasons of you. And Adam has a lot of tricks up his sleeve. But despite the series being dark, what did you guys do to keep it light on set? Because I've been speaking with the cast all day and they said that you guys have been just having such, you had such a blast while filming. Yeah, me and Tilly had a blast together. I feel so lucky that I had such a fun scene partner. We just talked a lot about bravo god we talked a lot of lives <laughs> a lot of housewife talk um wow. we listened to music we hung out we i don't know i just feel like we i think like we got really comfortable with each other really quick really quick i felt like i i feel like we were soulmates or like kindred spirits we knew each other in the past like yeah. no but uh, is that is that a particular housewives because i watch potomac Okay. Oh, with the, I'm Beverly Hills. Oh, I watch Beverly Hills Hills too. Okay. Beverly Hills and Potomac are my two go-tos. Right. I had to give Lucas my login because when he was in the UK, he couldn't watch it. He did, that's right, because I didn't yeah. have that. And then I would just text him every evening after I'd seen him for 12 hours and be like, can you watch Housewives, please, so we can talk about it. <laughs> I love that. Lucas, I have to say, I absolutely love Euphoria and I love The White Lotus. Both of those seasons always end up in like my top two, three lists of the year. And of course, you're in both of them. So I'm curious for you as an actor, you know, you know that these series have such popular and passionate fandoms. So what does it mean as an actor to be a part of that, especially with The White Lotus getting and Euphoria getting so much awards praise pretty much all the time? I mean, it's an honor to be a part of such good, good shows. I mean, when I started on both of those series, it was I, I was only in the first season of both of them. So I had no idea the, the extent of the success, but I just looked at the team behind it, the writing behind it. And I was like, I, I just will play a napkin. I'll play a background <laughs> in the show. Give me anything. And uh, usually it starts out of me going out for a lead. And then they're like, we don't really know what to do with them. And I'm like, I don't care. I will do <laughs> anything in the show. I need to work with Sam Levinson. I need to work with Mike White. And luckily, um, I just feel really blessed. I did the same thing with you. I was obsessed with it since the beginning. I've been trying for every season. Finally, at the, at the end, they're like, just give them something. Give them something. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. But are we ever going to see Dylan from White Lotus Maui return on another at, at a, another White Lotus resort? I mean, look, it totally makes sense for him to go to Thailand and change hotels. Why wouldn't he? It's another yeah. tropical place. It makes total sense. Yes. And he needs a he needs a new change of, of pace after all of that. So, yeah, I think he needs a, a new little a, the new little scenery he needs to mix things up it's a little dark at the Maui uh, location right now I love it well they are wrapping me congratulations to the two of you and I cannot wait for fans to see this new season of you when it's on Netflix oh thank, thank you, you so much thank you both Ed nice to meet you congratulations on season four of you I watched all of the episodes and I'm just still shook from this season. This I've been a fan of the show for a long time and your performance as Reese here was fantastic, especially to come into a beloved series with a popular fandom in season four. So first of all, congratulations to you. 
Thank you, Lord. Thank you very much. It's very kind. Yeah. So you and Penn have a lot of scenes together as your characters, Reese and Joe. And I'm curious for you, did the two of you do anything to kind of get to know each other before filming took place? Uh, I would love to say we went on romantic strolls on Hampstead Heath and went and watched lots of football and did all these things. But uh, <laughs> no, but I, will, I would say about Penn and I, is I, I genuinely feel we hit it off straight away. And it was in a, I suppose, in a, in a quiet sense as well. We just, I think we understood uh, each other's approach to working. And I feel, well, I certainly relished like going, going in every day to be, you know, to be with him, <laughs> to be around him. No, it was, it was, it was, it was a lot of fun. Uh, you know, he's a fiercely intelligent man, uh, incredibly talented human, uh, but he's got such a kind, uh, gracious understanding, like calming nature. And I feel that that, uh, you know, if you're working in an intense manner with someone if you're if the person you're playing opposite has that it just it, a it relaxes you but it also just allows you and through being i suppose through being relaxed it just allows you that 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 space to to operate and and, and to enjoy the work yeah no i love that it seems like you guys had a great working relationship and despite the dark themes of this the series seem to have a lot of fun on set as well um i have to say i love downton abbey I'm obsessed with Outlander. My dad and I are Star Trek fans. So my dad is obsessed with Picard. So oh. you are literally a part of so many of my favorite, you know, series that have these hardcore fan bases. And I'm curious for you as an actor, what it means to just be a part of all of these iconic series. Uh, and now I, you. <laughs> no, uh, I, yeah, I mean, I mean, I'm incredibly lucky. Uh, it's been, I've, I've, there's been huge elements of luck that have, have led that to be the case. But what I love about it is that you get the chance to meet so many passionate people who have been following, you know, look at, if you take Star Trek, have been following Star Trek since the 60s. You take you, like the, the sort of global phenomenon that it is on social media, and that's a whole new demographic to the Outlander. I've been very lucky, uh, and I'm I'm thrilled to be a part of of Netflix is you. It's been like playing this part, Reese. I feel has maybe opened up uh, an opportunity in a way, in a way that I hadn't had before, and I've I've, I've relished it from start to finish. Uh, I had some sleepless nights about how I was going to approach the character, but uh, yeah, I, I I enjoyed I enjoyed it immensely. I definitely think that you fans are going to really love what you did. So hopefully those sleepless nights will be worth it. Last question for you. I'm so excited about Irish Wish. I love Lindsay Lohan. What can you tell us about that film? Anything at all? Uh, I'm not sure. I, can, I don't know what I'm allowed to say about that at the moment. Uh, all I can say is we had a lot of fun filming in Ireland and hopefully people will, will love it as much as her last film. She was a great, she was a great joy to work with. Yeah, I love Ireland. I've been a, a couple of times. I actually went on vacation last year with my mom and had the best time. Well, Ed, they're wrapping me. Congratulations to you on the series. I cannot wait for fans to see this new season of you. You were absolutely fantastic in it. That's very, very kind of you to say. Thank you so much. Thank you, Ed. Bye. Yeah, Lauren, Tati, bye -bye. congratulations to you on season four of You. I love the character of Marianne, and I was so bummed when I didn't get to chat with you for season three. So first of all, excited to chat with you because I love the series so much. And congratulations on this new season. I cannot wait for fans to see it. Oh, thank you so much, Lauren. Like, no, I'm super excited. I'm happy that I get to talk to you this time around. And like, yeah, I'm also super excited for this season. It's pretty killer like it's really great <laughs> it's pretty killer and honestly there is so many very dark and emotional places that Marianne has to go to this season and I'm curious for you as an actor because like there's one episode in particular where I was like crying watching Marianne and how do you kind of get in and out of those head spaces after you film those particularly emotional sequences um, it just takes, I guess, like just me literally like, okay, well, getting into it, um, it, it takes one, it takes a lot of focus, I think, just in general, both getting in and getting out. Um, for me, I use music a lot as a tool um, to sort of set me up emotionally, um, whether that's either bringing up a, a memory of uh, from my own life experience or past, or whether it's I if it's something that I can't connect to from my own life experience, then just using like I'm very affected by music. So just using music to put me in a certain place. Um, but it also involves like, yeah, I get, I become like a, a hermit that day, usually on set where like, I don't really talk to anybody. I have headphones in all day. Like, cause I, I'm, I'm very much, I can't hop in and out of like a certain, 
uh, emotion. Like if we right. have to shoot a certain scene for a couple of hours, like I've got to stay and not as deep necessarily in it, but stay in sort of a level that I can still access it easily from. Mm -hmm. um, and then coming out is just a lot of meditation and breathing <laughs> and crying it out sometimes. Um, and just reminding myself that uh, that it's that it's not real. None of it's real. Um, no, that's yeah. just a lot of what I do for my mental health of just like reminding my body and my brain that like, hey, we were acting. It's OK. I'm OK. Life is OK. No, yeah. I love that answer. It's a very real answer. Well, I was a huge fan of Chilling Adventures of Sabrina, too. And the ca the character of Prudence is iconic. She just w had, was such a vibe. She was like slaying in all of her outfits, the way you delivered that dialogue. I'm obsessed with it. What does it mean to be a part of now, two, you know, two fandoms of, you know, both you and Sabrina have all of these popular fandoms still to this day? What does it mean as an actor to be a part of that? Um, I'm it's honestly I'm so grateful and it's still so surreal like I I was sort of reflecting on this the other day of of like I feel so lucky and blessed that it, it to be on two yeah hit tv shows at the start of my career like I've only been you know in this industry about seven maybe eight years now and it's it's wild it's really an honor it feels good I guess that way to be seen so quickly and to for for I guess you know, for my talent, I guess, to be acknowledged in that way. It's like, it's still even so weird to even, I can be very self-deprecating for on myself at times. So like, I, I'm just grateful. Like I, I, I'm, I just feel very honored. Like, cause I, I feel very lucky. Yeah. I love that. I love that. Uh, where do you think that Prudence would be today? What do you think she would be doing? I feel like she would be, um, I mean, there was this like idea that was thrown around at the time where like Prudence and Ambrose were supposed to go to the Mountain of Madness and like start their own coven. So mm -hmm. I feel like they're off doing that. Um, yeah, I feel like if either that or she is searching for her um, for her uh, siblings, um, for Judas and Judith, yep. um, because they were never found or, or we never really knew where they ended up in the end. Right. Um, so I think probably that first and then going off with Ambrose and starting a, a new coven and trying to live, I think, a better life than she had previously. I know, for real. Well, this has been so much fun to chat with you, Tati, and I appreciate your time today. I cannot wait for fans to see your amazing performance in this new season. Thank you, Lauren. Thank you so much. It's been a pleasure chatting with you, too. Oh, of course. Enjoy the rest of your press day. Thank you. Enjoy the rest of your day. All right. Bye. Bye.